Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about the NQ Auto Trader. I've been getting a lot of questions about NQ Auto Trader and just how it works, what you should be doing, okay? NQ Auto Trader takes time to learn, okay? We're gonna go over the settings today. We're gonna go over when and when not to enable it. Okay, also update, hopefully later this week, this weekend, early next week, sometime for NQ Trader and SBS. The NQ trader is gonna be an added trailing stop. So well, just like SBS, you can have a trailing stop as well as you know you can drag your TP and stop loss around. Two big things. SBS update, um, added indicators and, and um, custom indicators, things like that. Um, so you can take longs above VWAP, shorts below, things like that. Um, but I won't get into that because that's not an SBS video, okay? So I'm gonna explain the settings here. And we'll start off with the data series. Okay, so the default settings, guys, is Ninza Renko bars, 200 brick size, five trend threshold. Okay, that's the default, and that's what you should be using for most of you, I think. Okay, the other option would be you could do something like 100 for the brick size, two for the trend threshold. This will make the bars smaller, and you'll get a lot more trades, a lot more scalpy trades. Um, just a lot more trades, okay? Uh, you can mess around with this. You can mess around with the brick size, trend threshold, okay? You pretty much just wanna find something that'll make the bars very smooth, okay? So if it's a choppy day where we're ranging 30 points, the 102 brick size is gonna look really bad. So you can see overnight here, the 205 bricks are very smooth, right? Not too many wicks. We change this to 102 and we'll load this Give it a few minutes or give it a, a second here. So 102 overnight, you can see you get a lot more of of uh, this kind of action here where move down, oh, this is just, it starts wicking down, moves back up. You have a top wick here, um, things like this as well, right? Chop, right? You want it to be smooth, okay? So whatever that is, you can mess with that. You could try, you know, 250 and five. You could you could mess with that as well. Literally, brick size, that's something you can play with. I would stick to only Ninzarenko bars though, okay? And again, you'll get different trades for, for each of these, okay? So you can see the trades are changing as we are changing the brick size. Okay, so you can mess with that. Um, some other things. Okay, I would mainly run the overnight settings. Okay, so 12 a.m. to 9 a.m. is what I would generally do. Okay, and then avoid times 9 a.m. to midnight. Okay, pretty much right there. The stop losses, this is default 150, 150, 50 take profit, one for my total profit. Okay, and make sure your, your fill resolution down here is on high and not standard. It has to be on high. Okay, that'll change how the bot works, okay? Then the only other thing that you should be changing is the contracts, okay? So it, NQ Trader uses Martingale system. What does that mean? If we have one for all three of these, okay? One starting contract, one for the first multiplier, one for the second multiplier. This will take one contract in every trade, okay? If we have one, two, one. This will take the one contract on the first trade, okay? If that loses, it's gonna take this number times the one above it. So two times one, we're taking two contracts on the next trade. Then if this trade loses, we're taking the second contract multiplier times this, which is again two, okay? If we have three here, first trade takes one, second trade takes two times the one, that's two. Third trade would take three times two, which is six, okay? If it takes losses, okay? So that's also something to think about, okay? Um, you could, some things that I would recommend is a one, two, one, one, two, one right there, or like a three, two, one. Okay. Um, you just, if you get back to back losses, it can really hurt you. So you gotta be very careful and smart about it. Okay. Um, we're going to look over the past few days with the default 205 and we can compare it. I mean, we're on 305 now. Um, I'm not sure how this does. This is just a random one I just clicked on. 
So we'll go to the default 205. Let this load. Okay, so this morning, I have it on 321 right now. Okay, so the first trade's gonna take three contracts. So today, you would have made uh, 750 plus 750 plus 750. So that would be 2250. Okay, so you made 2250 today. And again, you wanna really stay away from high impact news. Okay, so what that is gonna be is your CPI, your PPI, um, your FOMC. You're, you're gonna wanna just honestly avoid those days. Or if you do trade those days, don't leave it, don't trade the overnight, right? If you wanna change it to like a 100 two brick size and catch some of the morning momentum, that's something different. But I wouldn't trade the overnight session especially on like CPI, PPI, FOMC, and NFP day, okay? You really need to be careful because again, those losses can eat you up, okay? Um, so again, last night, 22.50. If we go to the previous day here, we had again, one, uh, one win, two wins, three wins. It can take shorts on green candles so that I've been seeing people think that's a, uh, it's messing up. It's not, this is normal. Um, so one, two, three wins, four wins. Okay. Then you can see here, I'll zoom in a little. We took a, a three contract loss. The next trade, it takes six because we have the three, two, one. So three times two, six. Okay. And that one, one. So we're back up, uh, Pretty much no loss from these or, or down one trade right so this would be 750 1500 2250 3000 okay then this loss would bring uh us to only up 750 so one loss takes away three wins okay it does have an 85 percent win rate though so we're up 750 here then a six contract so that would be um plus 1500 so we end that that day up 2250 as well Okay, with uh, a little bit of drawdown though. Okay, so that is 4,500 obviously right there in the past two days. This is with NQ Trader on 321, which is very risky. If you wanted to do uh, MNQ, you are going to get slightly different trades. Okay, we can look at that. I'll switch it here, MNQ, because the price action is slightly different. Some days you'll get the same exact trades, like overnight last night, we got the same exact trades on MNQ as we did on NQ, okay? Um, if you have NQ Trader, you'll be able to uh, switch just to MNQ or NQ. If you just bought MNQ Trader, you cannot use NQ, okay? Um, but last night, again, on MNQ Trader, uh, three wins, right? So obviously that's three micros. So this would be instead of 2250, you would have $222.5 of profit here, okay? Um, so again, MNQ Trader, you're gonna wanna use that for anything under pretty much 150K account, okay? Now, if we go to this day, you can see, again, pretty much the exact same. Sometimes the it will be very different um, because the price of MNQ is slightly off. If you look at the swing highs and swing lows, it'll be slightly different than NQ. So again, same is same there. Um, we keep going. This is the next, uh, the previous morning. You can see we had a lot of wins and a lot of losses. So this is a very volatile day. This was the 11th, which if we look back to the 11th, this is PPI day. Okay, so this is a day where I would say you probably shouldn't be trading overnight. If you do, you need to be very careful with it. Okay, so we can see one, two, three wins, a loss. So that takes away those three wins. Then we get a win and another win and another win. So that's three wins there four wins, five wins, six wins, seven wins, eight wins, nine wins, 10 wins, 11 wins, 12 wins, and then a loss. So we're up a net nine. So up a net nine, then 10. Then we take a loss here. So that would bring us back to like nothing. It, news was right here though. So if you ended before the news, so this time was 830 was right here. You would want to be turning off before a big red fuller news at least an hour before. Okay, so if there's news at 830, you should be done at 730. Um, if there's news 
big news at 2 p.m. You should be done by 1 p.m. Okay, so news here 8:30. You could have avoided that. Okay, um, so I guess PPI did it did work pretty well. Again, you want to be turning off before that news though. Okay, you want to be turning off before that news. Then we can go to the previous day as well. This day, let me look at the Forex factory. This day there was CPI. Okay, so CPI morning. Again, what did we just say? At least, I, I probably wouldn't trade it, but if you are, if you do, you need to be done at least an hour before. Okay, so we can see here, one wins, two wins, three wins to start us off. Four, five, six wins, so six in a row. Seven in a row. And then we start getting some losses. So seven in a row here, we take a loss. Um, and then a back-to-back -back loss. So that's going to put us down. Um, that's going to put us down nine. So we're we're negative two trades. So a win, a win. That would put us back to right around break even. Then another win, then a loss. You can see why I would avoid. Right? We, there's a lot of wins in here. There's also a lot of losses. If you just traded until 4 a.m. or something, you would have gotten some good wins. Um, but again, that's a day where I probably wouldn't trade. Okay, it's better to be cautious. And then this day, it was the 9th. Okay, on the 9th, we had meeting minutes later in the day. That's not really anything to worry about. So this is just a volatile day from the Trump tariff situation. This will be the last day we'll go over here. We had one, two wins here and a loss, but this is a six contract. So we'd actually break even here. Then, um, can I speed this up at all? No, not really. So then we're up one, then two. There's a lot of trades here, like a lot of trades. Three wins, four wins, five wins, six wins in a row now. Then seven wins, eight wins, then some losses. So eight wins, a loss there. So I'd put us up five, net five. Then six, seven, eight. Then again, a loss that puts us to net five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten wins, eleven wins, twelve wins, uh, thirteen wins here, fourteen wins, um, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen wins, then a loss, so net fourteen, and then fifteen wins, then a loss, so net twelve. And then 13, 14, and a loss, so net 11. So you can see we're starting to dig ourselves a hole now. Uh, 12, 13, net 10, 11, net 8. All right, so the closer we get to the market open there, uh, it's just not playing. So net 8 wins, which is still good. Um, but you, just my point, you need to be careful on really, really volatile days. And... Um, those big news days, right? Anyway, hopefully this gives you guys a better understanding of NQ Trader. I will leave a little discount in the description for NQ Trader if you want to try it out for a month, okay? Um, leave any comments, questions, concerns down below. I'll see you later.